Hi, so to give this sintering unit a go, so we can have a play with it, what I did was make some uh, copper nanoparticles in here, and they're pretty small, which is why it's that blackish colour. It's actually kind of a deep golden colour when you look at it, and when it dries, it goes a kind of greenish colour, actually. And we've got some metal organic copper ink there that I ran up. I'll go through in another video how to make these things. So I just made those, and I painted them on as splodges on this bit of paper and let them dry. Now, there's no particular surprise that if you test the conductivity, and we hold those apart a little bit, you'll see that they've got no conductivity at all because basically it's a salt. Now, if we slide it under our flash unit and turn it on, we'll flash it for a few times. Now, this gum actually is so powerful that when you get the intensity up there, you can't look at it. And I kind of worry about it. So I'd start it off at a low intensity, wait till it warms up a little bit so it's flashing and then I turn the intensity up a little. Then when it gets so bright, I have to look away. I haven't given it long under there, so there's no real colour change, but the really interesting thing is that if I hold those a centimetre apart, You can see that's now become conductive. That one. <laughs> it's a centimetre apart and it's reading 184K. This one. This one is reading 1.7 meg. So just those few flashes has improved the conductivity of this one, which is the um, copper nanoparticles like you wouldn't believe. This one has not improved so much, so I'd have to give it much more flashing in order to center that back down. And that was the organometallic ink. So there we go, how to reduce copper nanoparticles and organometallic inks using your flash sintering unit. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you, and thank you for watching.